one by one. Make sure you remove the washers as well. Next step is to remove this cover. And there is a C-clip here. Um, we'll have to remove that C-clip as well. So I'll remove the C-clip now. There you go. Next step is to pull this out. And as you pull it out, that will release this from the brakes. This is a uh, guide pin. Now I'll be removing these two bolts. After removing these two knots from here, you can pull the caliper out. And as you pull out, it will basically the brake shoe will slide out. There. Now, one thing I'll be doing is I'll have to push these uh, pistons back into the previous position I'll be using this to push the clippers back next step is clean the caliper with the brake cleaner Hmm. Put the new uh, brake pads back like that. Put the slider in there. Now insert the pin. So the slider pin is back in there now. Put the C clip back in here. Make sure that the gap is correct. So the C clip is back now. Now the only thing we'll have to do is slide the brake caliper in there with the new pad and just put the nuts back and then the wheel back that's all just putting the nuts back now and just make sure you are you properly tighten them put the cover back Make sure it's properly tightened. Now put the wheel back again. Putting the nuts back again. And make sure you properly tighten them. So I've put the wheel back and now just make sure you break, press the brake multiple times so you can, you can pump the pressure up. 
the brake is very loose right now but if you keep pumping it the brake will be fine that's how you change the front brake pads of a px150